Hi, my dear children. Welcome back to English class. I'm Sabida Joseph, your English teacher. Children, I hope you all are safe and healthy. Children, when you were kids, you all watched cartoons. They all are stories such as Chota Beam, Tom and Jerry, Pokemon, Doraemon, and they all are characters which take you into an imaginary world, isn't it? Yes. And some movies also there. They are also telling stories. We can tell the stories in different way. We can tell the stories through books. We can tell the stories through movies. So this story is a piece of imagination and creativity. Story writing is an art which can be learned through practice. For writing a good story, you should have a clear idea about the plot. Narrate the events systematically. Use simple language. Give suitable heading to a story. Heading of the story should be as small as possible. The conclusion is the most important part of the story. The whole story must lead up to it naturally. So these are the important points you have to keep in your mind while you are writing a story. Okay, now let us see a story which is very familiar to you. You check all these points while you are listening the story. This is the story, the hare and the tortoise. Once a hare saw a tortoise walking slowly with a heavy shell on his back. The hare was very proud of himself and he asked the tortoise, Shall we have a race? The tortoise agreed. They started the running race. The hare ran very fast, but the tortoise walked very slowly. The proud hare rested under a tree and soon slept off. But the tortoise walked very fast, slowly and steadily and reached the goal. At last, the tortoise won the race. Now, let us discuss a lesson from the textbook Excellence in English. From writing skill, lesson number 1, Story Writing, page number 79. Story Writing Story writing is simple if you have the whole plot clear in your mind and the points are arranged in order. Any serial or movie is appreciated if the story is clear and the important points are narrated to the right extent. A short story is brief and generally has one main character. The background against which the characters move is described in a systematic way. The verbs used to express movement, they literally move the story. The first step is to prepare a brief outline of a story. An outline of a story should include outline of the plot, background information, details of the number and type of characters, any other relevant information. So while you are writing a story, you have to keep all these things in your mind, especially the steps that is to prepare a brief outline of a story and the outline includes the plot and the background information detail of the number and type of characters and any other relevant information. So all these things you have to keep in your mind and you must have a clear idea about the story or the plot. So first, let us do a textual exercise, page number 79. To be a good story writer, connect points given in the outline so here you naturally. Can see an outline of a story, that is, Ramu, guards sheep, screams wolf, wolf, villagers come, no wolf, does it again, plays jock, Villagers come again. Wolf really comes. No one helps him. Wolf kills many sheep. I hope you all got an outline of the story. So now let us see how we can connect all these points to make a story. An example will be given. You can write in your own words afterwards. Okay. 
So first we have to give a heading or a title for the story. Here we given a title that is never tell a lie. So for a story we must give a heading. Okay. Then we have to tell about the main character and the details. Okay. Who is the main character in this story? Yes, that is Ramu. So first we have to give the details about the main character. Okay, now let us start read the story. Okay, Ramu was free. He had holidays. His father, who was a shepherd, asked him to look after the sheep. So now we got about the details about the character. That is Ramu. Then Ramu did not like to do so. He soon got tired and bored. He thought of an idea to entertain himself. He called out, Wolf! Wolf! The villagers came running with sticks and asked him, Where is the wolf? Ramu laughed aloud and said, There is no wolf. I was joking. The people were very angry. One day a wolf really came. Ramu was scared. He screamed, Wolf! Wolf! But no one came to help him. The wolf killed his sheep. So this is the story from that outline. Okay. Now children, write the story in your own words. Now let us see the next exercise from your textbook that is same to write a story. Page number 80. B. Use your imagination to write a story about a 10 year old girl called Aditi. Give a suitable heading also. So the outline is given. Aditi draws on sand. Learns to draw plants, animals, wins many prizes. Now, children, it's the time for imagination and creativity. Think about this outline. Okay, I'll give an example. Afterwards, you have to write the story in your own words. The Sand Artist Aridhi was very fond of artwork. She loved to draw figures on the sand. She would make desert scenes, animals and plants on sand. Everyone liked the pictures she made. One day, she made a scene of tsunami on sand. All were surprised. She became better and better every day and won many prizes. So first we got an introduction about the main character who is that? Aradhi. Yes. Then we developed the points given in the textbook and finally it become a simple short story. Let's do the next one. C. Read the given outline and complete the story. Give a suitable title also. Renu, only daughter, poor parents, father, daily laborer, mother, maid, expert cook, together, start, tiffin service, work hard, chain of hotels. Now children, you imagine the story in your mind. By connecting all the points given here. Here we can see an example. The title is given Renu and her plan. Renu was the only daughter of the poor couple. She was studying in a school. Here we can see the details about Renu and her family. Her father was a daily laborer and her mother worked as a maid in the neighborhood. That is also given in the textbook. Renu wanted her parents to do something better so that they could lead a comfortable life. Renu's mother was a good cook. Renu planned to start a tiffin service. Her parents agreed. From the newspaper, Renu found out who all needed tiffin service. 
she organized it her mother cooked food and her father delivered it renu planned everything so children here we connected all the points and we completed the story next one d complete the story of the given outline give a suitable title also madhusudanan never studied failed works hard stands first surprised games wins medals parents happy so children now it's time for imagination and creativity you have to connect all these points as sentences and you can add anything which make the story more beautiful here is an example the hard work that is the title we are given to the story and the story is madhusudan and was careless he never heard what the teachers taught he never did his homework he failed miserably he was very sad he found the friends for whom he had wasted his time did not want to talk to him madhusudan and was upset he decided he would not waste his time and started working sincerely in whatever he did he came first in 200 meter race he came first in studies also everyone was surprised his parents were very happy so in this story also we got a clear picture about the main character madhusudanan the story is about madhusudanan at the beginning we saw how he was he, he didn't study properly he was lazy he always played with his friends finally he won many prizes and he became a good student in the class and his parents were happy about him and everybody surprised about his achievement he got the achievement only through the hard work so this story gives and inspiration to everyone so while you're writing a story you try to give message or inspiration to others children there are two more questions to write the story in your textbook that is e write the story of any movie that you have recently seen okay here you have to write any movie stories that you have recently seen or or the story you like the most okay so write the story here the next story that is f the hints are given here there was an animal fair all animals were to come with their young ones suddenly there was a loud noise and then chaos animals looking for the young ones young ones for their parents who looked for whom constructor story okay children use the hints given here and write the story then give a suitable heading also an example for both these stories will be given in the google classroom you have to write the stories in your own words children i hope you all understood today's class do the text like exercise write the stories by yourself we'll meet next day until then take care and bye